Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the most entertaining vehicular show in the world, Carmageddon. First, for those of you new to the show, here's the basics. Race through the checkpoints, finish laps. Finish all the laps, you win. Kill pedestrians to gain more time and money. Okay, with style, gets bonuses. Kill fellow racers, gain even more money and bonuses. Kill all fellow racers, and you win by default. Power-ups allows you to change the rules of the game. Power-ups can also be combined, but you can carry only one of each type, so pick carefully. Combine the right power-ups for complete hilarity and profit. Smash your car into something? Don't worry, onboard nanomachines will repair your car for you, for a price. Got a bit overzealous. Ended up on your side. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Recovery will get you right back into the race. Alright, let's have a look at the first race lineup. will take place in Beaver City using the nice Beaver layout track. A 4 checkpoint 4 lap race around the outside of the city. A nice introduction to a, the, one of the most blood-stained urban areas in the world. Without further ado, let's get going. For this race we will be following veteran racer Max Damage in his Eagle 3. He's off to a troubled start, but he manages to pick up the afterburner. And he has a nice shot and oh! He wrecks the bugger driven by the autoscum. A great start. through the first checkpoint. He went after Vlad, but hit nothing but wall. Heading down into the tunnel. Getting some nice air there. Oh! Looks like someone isn't terribly fond of Max. It's time for this member fest. Pedestrians will now lose limbs on touch. Max seems to have a bit of that problem with controlling his car for some reason. Nice combo there. Wide boy tries to make his way past, but Max accelerates and pulls away. That was the fourth checkpoint means that we're coming up on the first lap finish. 
driving alongside the bay, drivers have to make sure that they don't under or oversteer, as this might send them careening off the edge. Nice cornering, and we are finished with the first lap. Now let's have a look at some of the highlights from the rest of the race. Max goes hunting. Takes down one pedestrian with another, earning himself the What a Shot bonus. Proceeds to pick up the oil slick shitting ability, which he sadly wastes on doing nothing. Explosive Pedestrians is a fan favorite. It activates small hidden bombs within the bodies of all pedestrians on the map. Another Dismember Fest, combined with the Pedestrian Valium, means that Max can pick and choose his targets. And oh, what's this? Seems like he's found a new target. That young pair walking their dog will never see sunlight again. And, oh, Max decides to leave the dog alive. This is an example of what, how not to drive. Using afterburner just for a corner is usually never a good idea. The pedestrian repulsificator is another fan favorite. It uses a pneumatically powered spring to propel pedestrians several hundred feet into the air. It's also incredibly useful for catching those pedestrians you might otherwise have missed. Max heads down the tunnel and activates his afterburner. It seems that he's forgotten that he's in a car and not an airplane. That could have ended really badly. Without the repair nano machines, Max would probably have been out of the race. Another example why not to use the afterburner for a corner. This time, Max seems a bit afraid of the water and decides to use his recovery ability before even hitting the wet. That does it for the highlights. Here's the Max Damage finishing this race. First place. As introductory races go, a bit on the boring side. Let's move on to the next race right away. Here's the lineup. This race will take place in the Beaver County Quarry. It's a three checkpoint, four lap lake race nicknamed Rocky 2. Beaver County Quarry consists of small ravines, canyons and the occasional hairpin corner. Let's get it on. Max is off to a good start. Pole position, trying to keep the advantage. After trading paint with Genitalia, he moves in after the Otter Scum in their bugger. So the first checkpoint. Gets some nice air and takes down a few pedestrians. Oh, but he overshoots the bugger. And somehow the Autoscum managed to destroy their own car by backing into a wall. Max is credited with the kill. The opponent repulsificator is much like the pedestrian repulsificator, 
only that it affects vehicles instead of pedestrians. It can be incredibly useful for getting out of tight spots or basically being an asshole towards your opponents. Which, after all, is what this sport is all about. Halfway through the second lap already. Max uses his spoilers to take down a few pedestrians along the way. For some reason he opts not to use the repulsificator on the auto scum car. up the hill, finishing the second four laps. The race continued pretty much in this manner without much in the way of highlights. So let's take a look at the one time the opponent repulsificator actually got used. Some nice air there. Max manages to pull ahead and takes first place in the Rocky 2 race. Far from exciting, all we can do is hope that the third race of today will steal our appetites for destruction. <laughs>